Hi everyone, I'm back finally with another, with a Christmas Vaughn tour. It doesn't really look Christmassy right now, but you will see it. And also, I want to show you something real quick. This is the noise that you all hear during my videos. I'm trying to get closer because this thing's loud. It's just an air purifier that needs to be cleaned, honestly. I sleep with the noise. <laughs> that is why it is always on. Anyway, back to the tour, and another thing I want to show you. I had to take a lot of horses out of my barn because I did not have any room. For Christmas, I'm mostly asking for fencing, pens, things like that, just because I don't have room for my horses. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to go through all the names and stuff of them, just because I'm sure that you want to get on with the barn tour. But this is the herd now. Anyway, everyone knows how this starts. This is Thistle. She is a German Shepherd guard dog. One of the guard dogs. We have two do guard dogs here. She looks mean, but she's actually pretty sweet. She can be mean when she has to be, though. Don't worry, she's not that hot, just because it is literally, like, December 14th. So, yeah. <laughs> um, She's just panting, because she's a statue. Mold thing. Beware of dog parking. This is our symbol. We only have two of them here at the barn, though, because there's no more color in the printer, so I can't print any more of them. So, yeah. Moving on. So before we head down here, this is, like, right above from right there. But this is um one of the barns. It's not the main barn, but it's, like, I just basically made these stalls out of Playmobil stuff. Fencing and stuff, just because. Um... Here's the sign, the schedule. You can pause it and read it if you want to. You don't have to. And here is... I have a paper that tells all the names and um, breeds of all the horses that I have. But, so you might hear that every once in a while because I have not done this in a while so I don't remember all of them. Um, but I know that this is... <laughs> the Nab... Wait. Sorry, okay. This is the Nab Stripper Mare Spot and her adopted Camarage Philly Milky Way. Right here is the Trackner, thank you. I was thinking Alka Tiki Mare, and she is, her name is Mist, and she is owned by hmm, Abigail. Empty Stall, which I believe this is Tory Stall. Right here we have Austin with his bit off tail from my puppy who wandered into my room and chewed him up. So yeah, he's kind of beaten up now. Um, this is Macy, and she's looking at Miss Mackenzie's horse, Eclipse, and he's an Angelusian stallion. This is a Trackner stallion, Sunny, who is owned by June. Wait, no, sorry, Sunray, not Sunny. And Empty Stall, which this is... What other stalls? I don't remember them. And this is Marshmallow the cat. Here are the barn rules. You can pause this and read this if you want to. This is where the Christmas begins. We have the tiny truck and trailer. I'm asking for a new truck and trailer for Christmas because I want an actual truck one. Um, here's Abigail. So each of the people here have two horses. Mist is one of her horses, and Raven is one of her horses. Raven is a Tennessee Walker gelding. i sorry, I had to look at the paper because I forgot what he was. I thought he was a Hanna Hanoverian. Anyway, this is a Christmas tree with little presents that I wrapped. Literally, they're not. They're just, like, toys that I don't really care about that I just found in my room, and I just wrapped them just because I thought they were cute. And then I have this sign here that I made. My barn has actually changed, I mean, like, by a lot since the last time you saw it. Anyway, here's the bridge. Yeah, there's a bridge now. Actually, you probably did see the bridge in um, the episodes. In Little River, which I'm sure is probably frozen. And this is Rose, the German Shepherd puppy. And she's running across the bridge, which I strung with fake lights. <laughs> and here's the other guard dog, Lucas, the Labrador. And here's the American short haired cat, S'mores. These are flowers. I took the yellow flowers out of them to make them more Christmas colors. This is welcome, and then this is the mayor's pasture. Mayor in full pasture, and now this is the mayor in full pasture drive. Never mind. And we'll get started in here. This is Pumpkin, Tennessee Walker, or Colt. I think he's Colt. I don't know if he's Philly or Colt, but I'm not going to check right now. This is, um, 
Cinnamon, and she is a Mustang filly. And that's Snow, a Tennessee Walker mare. And she's owned by Macy. So here's my barn decorated with Christmas lights. These are actually the lights that I strung over my window for when I sleep. <laughs> Just for some light. When I turn off the actual light overhead, it's a lot darker. This is Miss McKenzie, the owner of the barn. I guess she's just looking around, wondering, how did I do all of this? You literally, like, if you've watched, the, I have three, this is the third barn tour, and if you watched the first one, my barn has drastically changed from, like, nothing to this. Anyway, this is her fox scout. Yes, she has a fox. I think it would be really nice to have a fox, but I would want a horse more than anything. So now we're going to go into the stallion's pasture. And they're not really pastures, they're like paddocks, because they're really small, but all the fencing I have, because I'd use the rest of it to make stalls for the horses. So, this is, um, I don't know why, but he came like that with his eye like that. It's like he was crying paint. Anyway, um, this is, what is his name? What is my name? Oh, yeah. Stony, which is actually a real horse. I named him after a real horse at a barn that we go visit sometimes. And he is a tractor stand. Please focus on Stony. Please focus on Stony. Focus on my air vent. Yeah, my dirty, disgusting air vent. Please focus on Stoney. Is it like the lighting or something? I mean, want to see his cute face. <laughs> Never mind. I won't really focus on him. He's basically the exact same thing as Sunray, just a different color. Anyway, back there is Spark. He's a Mustang stallion. Now we will go into the barn. I think we can start off with the newest member of Dream on Farms. And this is Crystal, the Lusitano mare. She came with the stall set. She's pretty. I like her. She kind of just stays in her stall, though, because she is one of the, like, one of the few not-owned horses. Most of these horses in this barn are owned. Oh, and by the way, um, it's actually focused on him now. And he, Stoney, is owned by Macy. Gosh, I can't remember anything. Okay, so in the barn next to Miss Kenzie, this is the first stall. This is Shadow, Miss McKenzie's other horse, and he is a piece of paper real quick. Cool. He is. Where's his name? Come on, seriously. Here. He is a Hanoverian stallion. He's pretty. He's like one of my favorite horses. His adorable little face. Yeah, but he's kind of upset that he can't be in the pasture right now because only two horses could be in the pasture at a time since they're smaller. And certain horses go in together, and certain horses might go by themselves. This is Ravenstall. This is Duchess, the mom of Cinnamon. A uh, Mustang mare. And then this is Pumpkin and Snowstall. And they all have tack. I will list them. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot about them. There's, like, some food and stuff back here. And this is... Daisy and Rosie, I think that's Daisy and that's Rosie, and they're a lamb and a kid, and they're like the best friends, and they wander around the barn going on adventures and stuff. So here at the tack room, please ignore the noises coming out of my air vent, right next to the stalls. I mean, the, the pasture, the same, the gelding's pasture. There is Miss McKenzie's tack for Eclipse, blanket, storage, this is Dream on Farms, yeah, I'm not going to go through all of that, um, and... Playmobil feed. Really, like, the only thing she like in here is the tack, the blankets, and this one. Oh, I forgot to show you something. Hold on. I forgot to show you that this is the blanket I made Eclipse. Basically, literally, uh, it's just felt surrounded by a blue ribbon, like, light blue ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby. I didn't get the felt at Hobby Lobby. You just have the felt. And I taped it, and it literally became this blanket. I love it. It's so cute. It matches this color perfectly. Anyway, moving on from the tack room, I just realized that you can still see that. This is a container from our dog's food. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is Amy, and she is the farmhand. She is currently brushing one of our few not-owned horses. I mean, they're all owned by Miss McKenzie, but she isn't owned by a person, specifically. This is Tori, and she is a Tennessee Walker mare, a retired Tennessee Walker mare. I only have a few retired horses. Um, it's like horses. This is just the tack box, which only has one brush in it, besides the one that she's using right now, which is the 
soft brush or the hard brush. Moving on up to here, these two stalls are empty. This is Steel, another real horse <laughs> that I named. He's not Schleich, he's the only not Schleich horse that I have at this barn right now. He's an Arabian stallion. Over here we have Megan. Oh yeah, um, by the way, Spark, the Mustang stallion, he's also owned by Megan. Megan is taking her horse Angel. Um, I like to call her Hanoverian mare. A lot of people say she's a lippers on her. I don't really know. And she is just got finished with the lesson, so she's taking her back to untack her and get her settled back at her stall. Oh, and right there is the Australian Shepherd April. Here at the arena, we have um, <laughs> Katie. She's a Labrador Retriever female dog, and then this is her puppy who's trying to sneak in. They literally put this thing up here so that the dogs couldn't get in freely, and she's sneaking in. Maybe I have these bushes here, and my go away stuff. And going inside, we have just jumps, and, well, actually, the jumps are in the jump storage. Here. This is June. She owns Sunray, and this is her second horse. Spice. Sorry, I couldn't remember his name. I was thinking Ginger for some reason. And he's a Morgan Stallion. And they're going to... He, if once he gets off those barrels, they're going to work on her leads. Because <laughs> she's good at bear racing, but she needs to work on the leads that she uses with... Um, I was about to call him Morgan, with Spice. I mean, this is Ethan. He's the instructor. This is the last thing up in jump storage. Another dog food container thing. And this is Dottie, the wiry-haired dachshund. And this stall is really small compared to, like, all the horses. This is not for, like... I don't, or Playmobil, I don't even know where I got it from. But I have it out because I'm going to actually use one of the horses from the herd. I think it's going to be a foal because the big horse is getting fit in here. And I'm going to make her surprise them with a new foal. I'm just going to pretend that the horses I took out of the barn were in here at first. But, um, yeah, I'm telling you that because I probably won't make an episode on it. I really haven't been making episodes lately. The last video I posted was my Debra Bruce Cameron books. Oh, and I did just get a new one. This is my, <laughs> um, 18th W. Bruce Cameron book. Anyway, time for an overview. Yeah, no, please don't look back there. It's super messy. Focus. Okay. Making music. Thank you for watching. I thought I would end it off with a painting that I made. Hope everybody can tell that's a horse and girl. <laughs> anyway, um, and there's plants under them if you're wondering what that is. So I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And have a good Christmas. A Merry Christmas. Bye, guys. There's one more thing I forgot to show you. This is my new Betafish River. It's my first PetSmart Betafish. Don't worry, this tank is temporary. I will get him a bigger one soon.